People want to believe in God because for little actual work, you can escape death. That's it. If escaping death was not part of the deal, no one would care. You're wrong because I would care. Also, we need to recognize workspace salvation when we see it. This person who is not a Christian believes that Christians teach that for little work, you can escape death. That's not what we teach. That's not what the Bible teaches. That's not what Jesus taught. That's not what any of the apostles taught. This person needs to hear the gospel. Also, Jesus said in Luke chapter 14, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters yes even his own life he cannot be my disciple so what's this about oh you just love your life you want to live forever that's why you believe in jesus no that's not it at all. What I love is Jesus's life. I want his life. I want him to live in me, and he does. So the fact is, there is so, 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 so much work that a Christian needs to put in by God's grace before they see life. Look at this. He who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he who does not obey the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. In fact, there is nobody who doesn't work in this life. For non-believers, they do evil works. For believers, they do good works. And the thing is, in this world as it is right now, it's a lot harder to do good works than it is to do evil works. And just by nature, we as sinners, we love to do evil works. But we all know the biggest issue here, which is that it's Jesus who put in all that work for my salvation. He saved me. It's God who saved me, not me who worked so that I could escape death. My work contributed nothing to my escaping death. In fact, I have already escaped death because Jesus, who died for my sins, are Already died for me. It's already a done deal. I'm going to live forever no matter what. So it's not that I believe in Jesus because I want eternal life. It's the other way around. I have eternal life. That's why I believe in Jesus. Acts chapter 13 says this, when people were preaching the word of God, when the Gentiles heard this, they began rejoicing and glorifying the word of the Lord. This is key right here. As many had believed in Jesus were appointed to eternal life. Wait a second. If we believe in Jesus and our belief causes us to have eternal life, but no, it's the other way around. As many as had been appointed by God, of course, to eternal life, believe. So eternal life is the reason why I believe in Jesus, not the other way around. Remember that, Christian. Jesus said, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. That which has been born of the flesh is flesh. That which has been born of the spirit is spirit. Then, of course, later in the same chapter, everyone who believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life, live forever. And the question here is, well, who's going to believe? Well, you just scroll up earlier and see that it's the people who have been born of the spirit. First Peter chapter one says this, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy, it's not according to our belief in him, it's according to his great mercy, that he caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So this living hope that we have was caused by God, our spiritual birth, according to his great mercy. I want to emphasize this because no, I don't believe in Jesus so that I can escape death. Rather, it's because Jesus has conquered death for me and has caused me to be born again to a living hope. That's why I have the hope in my heart. And I would say I believe in Jesus because he gave me eternal life, past tense. I don't don't believe in Jesus in the hope that he would give me eternal life. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come into judgment, but has passed out of death into life. That's another thing that I just give thanks to God for. And the reason why living forever seems like a good thing to me is because I would be able to give God thanks for all eternity and praise him and love him forever and also love my neighbor as myself forever and ever. So having eternal life isn't good in and of itself. Self. Imagine if the father never had the son to enjoy eternal life with from eternity past. God would have been lonely if that were the case. But of course, God is love. There is no such thing as a lonely God. But here's the deal. It is biblical to preach the gospel to someone and let them know that that is a benefit to believing in Jesus. You will be rewarded for it. Your sins will be forgiven. You will not die anymore. We know for a fact, the Bible tells us that people are afraid of death. People don't want to die. But we know everyone who lives and believes in Jesus will never die ever. A lot of atheists out there, that's one of the reasons why they come to Christ, because they don't actually want to die. As a lot of atheists believe, they're going to die and go to the ground and never be raised from the dead. But when they find out the good news of Christ, that he raised from the dead, and everyone who believes in him will also be raised from the dead to live forever, that's good news. Now, of course, when someone repents and comes to Christ, and they tell me that that's one of the main reasons why they believe in Jesus, hopefully as they grow in the faith, that is no longer one of the main reasons that they believe in Jesus. Every Christian should believe in Jesus because it's the right thing to do, because God told them to, 
to give him glory, to give him the blessing and the honor and all the praise. In other words, we should want eternal life. It's not wrong to desire to live forever, but it's your heart. Why do you want eternal life? Is it just so that you can live forever so that you can escape death? That would be a selfish reason, but we want to live forever to give God all the glory, to give thanks to Jesus for purchasing us and giving us eternal life as a gift. Not that we deserve it, but yeah, no, none of us Christians believe in God because we just want to live forever. No. It's the other way around. And we believe in Jesus because he commanded us to, ultimately. It's the love of God. We love him because he first loved us. Anyways, that'll be it for today. Remember to subscribe to this channel and like the video if you have not already. Anyways, I love you guys so much.